Plants Under Pressure project is a joint project now between the Natural History Museum and the Royal Botanic Gardens Kew. Both institutions have very extensive historical collections of plant specimens that have been collected from around the world over hundreds of years. We can't possibly assess every single plant species, so we've taken a sample of 1%. We've selected those species at random. That gives us a representative sample across the world. If we know exactly where the specimens have been collected, then it's very easy for us to plot those on a map. And these days with modern technology, it's very simple to start comparing conditions now to the conditions as they were when that specimen was collected. There's a whole range of different threats to plants, but overwhelmingly they're human-driven threats. There's a good example. It's a particular fern species that's only found in high-altitude grasslands in the mountains in the centre of New Guinea. One of the localities where this plant was collected fairly recently, that's now the world's largest copper mine. Cycads are really threatened in the wild. They, they have poor reproductive success. There's a lot of habitat loss in the areas where they're found. They're reduced to very small populations, just a few individuals for some species. Madagascar is a very large island and it has a great diversity of different vegetation types across the island. 80% of the plants in Madagascar are found nowhere else on Earth. Sadly, the island now has less than 15% of its original vegetation. In the next phase of this project, we're going to be mounting expeditions to those hotspots, monitoring these species in the field, and seeing how their conservation status is really changing. This will give us an accurate picture of which plants are threatened, where and why, and let us see if the world is meeting its conservation targets.